friends welcome to j academy in this video i'll tell you how to count the support that means support counting okay so one method is that you have your candidate item set and then you map that item set with the transaction database okay and get the support count okay and in every iteration we have to check the transaction database so it takes a lot of time the alternative is that you arrange the item in a lex a lexicographic manner that is alphabetical order and give them some numbers like for example we have taken in the previous video if you have seen ball you have to keep it one bread as two and like that so if a transaction has got five items you can number it as one two three four five okay and uh, use a method called enumeration of subset to number it so that we'll find out how many possible candidate item set can be formed so let us see this method so this method has got two part first to find out all the candidate item set and the second part is that using a hash table counting the support okay let's see the first part so suppose we have we have already numbered the items which were in words like ball as one so here a transaction t has 1 2 3 5 6 6 okay and we need to find okay so there are how many items are there there are five items and we need to find a candidate with three item set so if you want to find the total number of candidate item that you will get is factorial 5 by 3 and 2 that is 5 into 4 factorial 3 So the total of ten candidate item set that we'll get from these five items. Okay. So here it is the level wise. So we'll go to the first level. We'll choose one item from these five items. Okay. Let's see how it is done. So what are we going to do is that we'll take one out of the box and remaining item two, three, five, six that will be a possible candidate item in the next level. In level, in the next we can take the second item that is two, and then five, three, five, six will be in the box, okay, and three, five, six will be in the box in the level one. So level one means you have to take out one item from the five items, okay, one after the another, and see the possible combination. In level two, since what we got is one is out of the box. And two, three, five, six. We will see the combination of two item from these two, three, five, six. So what we are going to get? We'll get one and two will come out. Then three, five, six will be inside. One can be combined with three. So one, three, five, six will be inside. One can be combined with five. Then six will be inside. Okay. So in these three possible ways, we can further get get three candidate item set. Similarly, in the second one, we have got two, so we can have two, three, then five, six will be inside. Then two can be combined with five, that is two, five, and six will be left in the box. Next, here we have three, so five can come out, three, five, and then six is the only element that is in the box. So that is in level two. Level two, we have chosen the two items, okay, and remaining item are in the box now from the level 2 we can find level 3 which is a subset of three items and what are the different combinations so we can have 1 2 1 and 3 1 2 and 3 1 2 and 5 1 2 and 6 okay so that is over so here we'll come to 1 3 5 1 3 6 6 okay then we have 1 5 6 that's all Now come to this two three. In the level three, we'll have two three five, two three six. Similarly, here is there is only one combination here two five and six. Similarly, here we have one combination that is three five six. Let us check out how many candidate items have we got. We got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. So according to the calculation, we are getting ten. Okay. that's that is a one way where you can get all the candidate 
item set okay from a given items in a transaction so in the next video i'll tell you how to form a hash tree and using the hash tree how we can find the support count thank you